Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all having an amazing day and I hope you're all doing well and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, what I'll be explaining to you guys is how you can refund games or any purchases that you've made on uh, the Battle.net service. Now, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, I am currently logged into my account on the Battle.net site on my web browser. And this is where you want to go to actually start the entire refunding process. Now, when you're actually logged in, this is the main page which you will be taken to, or rather the home page for the Blizzard.net site or the Battle.net site. And what you want to do when you actually log in is go to this support button that you see in the top right, right next to your account name, uh, between your account name and download Battle.net. Uh, this support button with the question mark and everything, just click on that. And then when you do, you will be taken to this screen. Now, to actually make or rather start the actual refund process, you will uh, see these three here. You have the actual uh, option to select account problems, payment op problems, and technical problems. Just select payment, and once you do click on it, you'll be taken to this screen, and you'll see all these options unauthorized charges, purchase failures, and everything. These are just, I think, some FAQ uh, problems that people usually have. But what you want to do is click on contact support. Once you do, it'll start loading, and it'll load this page. And if it shows up like this, and it should, what you want to do is click on refunds. And once you do, just click continue. And then it should start loading the uh, list of purchases that you've made. As you can see, uh, none of my orders are eligible since I didn't make any on this account, but you, any recent or orders should show up and you select the one you want to refund. Once you do, you select the reason you want to refund, click continue, and then your process uh, should be started and you should get an answer through one or two weeks. To actually be a candidate for a refund, you have to have at least two or less hours of gameplay and that's about it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and I'll see you guys in another video.